Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth episode of the Parkour podcast, PCAST. My name is Philip, I'm from Parkour One in Germany, and I had the opportunity to travel and talk to a lot of tracers within the parkour scene. My uh, guest today is Sebastian Foucault. Sebastian is well known for the Jump London and Jump Britain documentaries, as well as working for Madonna and of course for his performance in the James Bond Casino Royale. He's one of the founders of the movement called Parkour and also known as the founder of freerunning. But despite all of that, he sees himself as an explorer, as his practice and his interests are in constant evolution. Sebastian lives in the UK and has his academy there. The podcast was recorded in February 2018 in London. Huge thanks to Alex May from uh, London who was getting me in contact and for hosting me. If you see the video of this podcast, please check out the description. There are further links and timestamps for the questions, so you can quick jump there. Now lean back and enjoy this episode. Oh, um, I will just start the podcast now. Uh, welcome, Sebastian. Uh, welcome, Alex. Hello. Uh, Alex is our host today. Maybe you want to uh, say something about you. Who you don't you? mean podcast host, right? You mean physical host. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my name's Alex, or Alex May. Um, Alex Maisie on Facebook. Yeah. Well, I started parkour in 2010, I think. So, definitely not the kind of early generation, but following on from that. Yeah. And then, I've been doing it since then. I'm now 24. I live in London now, but I've only been in London for a couple of years, so um, before in London I lived in Oxford for a few years, so I was very involved in the parkour community there yeah. for three years, just building a community and coaching that. Yeah. Um, and then and, and during that time, that's how we know each other, yeah. I spent a year in Germany. That's so, how we, we, we get in, in touch. Yeah. And yeah, we trained a lot together, or yeah. some, sometimes, because... Yeah. <laughs> so we instantly... It's like maybe you know, like you know nothing about the other guy, yeah. But you, because of parkour, you you trust. Yeah, yeah you bound. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Did and you, you train together, or you practice together. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's actually funny because I don't use the word practice because in British English, yeah, we don't really use it much for sports as such. Oh, okay. But in American English, you use it lots. Oh. So Americans would say we'll have tennis practice, but in, oh. in a British English, would rarely say tennis practice. It just so I, yeah, we have piano practice, you practice for music, but for sport you either, so, so I had the same thing um, that we were talking about just before, mm. where for, for maybe half a year or a year, I didn't think that I trained, because all of my parkour was playful. Yes. So I found it difficult, I, I didn't want to text people and say, I'm going to go and train, but it's like, I'm going to go and play. do parkour. Or you can say, play. play. I yeah. think it's even more yeah. creative. And, and, I, and now you're... Um, Oh yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, um, and so you're the timekeeper, you said. <laughs> uh, yeah, my watch is actually in the other no, room. So, okay. um, so yeah, so now I'm I'm in London and I coach. I, I have another job. <clears throat> Parkour is just my kind of half of my life. Um, but yeah, I coach with I coach with Sebastian, which is part of why I'm in this room. And then I also coach with another group called Free Your Instinct, which is parkour for mental health. Yeah. Um, and then I have some of my own coaching as well. Yeah. So I'm still in Oxford, occasionally things in London. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and you're connected to Sebastian since when? So my con connected would be since last summer, yeah. when Sebastian was looking for another coach for his academy. Okay. And I replied and yeah. we met up and now yeah. I coach for him. And, that, it, and then, you know, like we have... For me, like it's uh, it's an honor for me to, to have you here. You know, like uh, you know, I <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, like if, uh, I never met you before. Like uh, you're for me the founder, co-founder, whatever of parkour, and uh, yeah, you you do parkour for 26 years, you said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you've done some movies, uh, got famous. I think you you were one of the. Um, the key figures who introduced the mm. whole whole Britain to parkour because of Jump London. Mm. I think because of you, the yeah. whole British scene just evolved. I don't know how yeah. you see it, but you can introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, yeah. I just know your uh, father of two. Yeah, two, two kids. Yeah. Yeah. Two so your your father, you yeah. uh, 
That's also, I think, important somehow. It is. It is, it is very important. But just introduce like what you want to say. Or... So, like you say, I'm, uh, I'm still struggling with the word founder. Yeah. However, yes, <laughs> I'm uh, one of the guys who initiate the yeah. entire movement, yeah. which known as parkour, framing, how do you plus more, uh, whatever. <laughs> this yeah. entire things, which influence now everything from the yeah. entertaining world from the mm. fitness world industry yeah. now they become very much more <laughs> natural movement based yeah. Yeah. deeply influenced by parkour that's it even even people don't don't want to use the word parkour yeah. but all those movements are, are i think it, sh it, it shook the foundation the mindset of people mm -hmm. how things are supposed to be done yeah. even in an indoor gym i say okay we yeah. have all this machine and stuff like that, really expensive but we need to go back to the yeah. primal yeah, yeah. And like balance, like jumping, like it, lifting and stuff. Yeah. So I believe we, Climbing, yeah. we as also other people from other field, we influence deeply the mm -hmm. entire new generation of want to express themselves mm -hmm. uh, naturally, go mm -hmm. back to the roots. Mm -hmm. um, on the fame aspect of that, I'm uh, also a guy who bring to a, a, a bigger audience uh, the discipline mm -hmm. via documentary, which yeah. is a choose a choice I make a long time ago to yeah. do documentary, yeah. and there is a reason for that. Yeah. And then also, I've been uh, lucky enough to be approached uh, by a production company yeah. because my profile uh, coincide uh, was really in uh, yeah, in alignment with a script of a movie, which was mm -hmm. what's happened to me with uh, James Bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's okay. pure, it's, a, it's luck. It's luck, yeah. Life is like that. Yeah. A link with also what I initiate, because also without, without skills, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work. So, yeah. but however, yeah. in the movie industry, that's how I get cast. Yeah. Same with working with Madonna, because I, yeah. I work for her, I yeah. was performing and, and also... Uh, the uh, conf confession story it was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Performing and doing also choreography and stuff like that. So yeah. it's a huge, huge responsibility. Yeah. Which also, all this stuff, all this <clears throat> obstacle and challenge teach you something and makes you in a different yeah. place and space. So, yeah. uh, so that's it. So uh, founder is one thing. Uh, uh, creator is one thing. But I believe more than anything else, now I can say it, I'm an explorer. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose, when I choose to use the word like free running, mm -hmm. like because I felt like at, at this time, everything I, I, I say now, it's really linked with the time. It's a timeline, mm -hmm. so you need to go back to the timeline. Yeah. Parkour as it is now is not parkour as it was yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I wanted to ask you. <laughs> okay. okay, so at this time, parkour was pretty straightforward, and all this philosophy of uh, no competition that didn't mm. exist at all. Yeah. Okay? It mm. was more, and we were younger. Yeah. So there is not so much, so much of a thinking and stuff like that. But for me, I was really deeply influenced by martial art yeah. and the philosophy. Okay. And that's something I didn't share really much with any of mm -hmm. other, the other mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. Even now, they have their own philosophy, which mm -hmm. I respect. But this time, Nobody really talk about the film. With other guys, you mean like the old Yamakazi? Or yeah, all of them. The, all all of, them, of them, yeah. David include. If yeah. you speak with David, I think in the interview he said, it's you, it's you said you bring all these philosophy and ideas stuff. And I remember because at, the, at this time they were calling me like, oh, it's the monk. Mm. <laughs> More in a pejorative way, like, oh, he's always in his bubble thinking mm. stuff. I think Mike Christie said something last time I talked with him. He said, you're always like, you're like a poet. Mm. In a sense, like not I'm a good poet, but more mm -hmm. in a sense like everything I, I say, like this is just a glass of water. Mm -hmm. But the way I'm going to talk about the glass of water, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a lot of stuff around. <laughs> but still a glass of water, right? <laughs> That's what I was doing with parkour. Yeah. So for me, when I'm doing it, I'm like, God, my God, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. If you do that, the connection this and the society and the conflict was between the da da da. For them, it's not but you just that's true to jump, you know. <laughs> but but <clears throat> in a way, I disagree because parkour is not just about jumping and climbing. Absolutely, there is mm, absolutely there is more to it. But, the timeline as well. That's what I say. Yeah. In the timeline. That's why I say. Yeah. Okay. Remember the timeline. Ah, okay. <laughs> at the beginning, the beginning yeah, it yeah. wasn't like that at yeah, all. Yeah, of course. It was literally you go outside, you see two yeah, kids yeah. like climbing the tree. You start to, do, you know, like when you touch the tree, the tree is alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a connection with the tree, but not only with the tree, you have connection with the earth. And so you say, uh, we just want to climb. Yeah. See? Uh, now I understand. Yeah. That's exactly, that's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. how I was. So yeah. I was a little bit, without being too much, advanced in my work thinking, but mm -hmm. more influenced by martial mm -hmm. art. Because everything I was watching around was about mm -hmm. a guy who has no, no skills and nothing. He was the last uh, of the group and he looking for a master. 
and the master teach him something and gives him give him all the mm -hmm. wisdom and everything and i took that from the from martial arts so yeah. at this age for me i was looking for a master yeah. and my friend which i discovered like david was physically like in his evolution of practice he was above myself yeah above like for me I had vertigo I've got so many things I had to deal yeah, with yeah, yeah. but this time it couldn't and also very important because people there is a lot of sometimes I saw people like judge David in a sense like oh he's, he's not a, um, um, someone who, who make people together yeah and yeah, that's yeah, a big yeah. difference between yeah the Yamakasi and David yeah. that's also I talk about the book Relentless yeah I recommend I recommend a lot of people to read this book yeah uh, because um n for me nobody's bad mm -hmm. okay everyone's get their own journey and they're in a, in a certain development david um uh, uh, was in a journey he was in a quest mm -hmm. he explained if yeah, you yeah. listen to him he I, I, very I, clearly I, understand his I, quest. he said like quest yeah, yeah. He, on his, with his father and yeah it's not it's not on a thing like a, yeah, a camaraderie yeah. all together yeah, he yeah. had that yeah, yeah. but not in extent of this goes beyond his quest mm -hmm. his personal quest was more important mm -hmm. so people say that's really selfish yeah you can say it like this mm -hmm. but he was on a quest mm -hmm. Everyone has a quest. Me, yeah, I was on a yeah, quest yeah. of finding a, a master. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when David talked to me, when I saw David, mm -hmm. friends, and then he talked to me about his, fa his father, mm -hmm. as you can understand, which mm -hmm. me, I was like, Bruce Lee, stuff like that. He talked about his father. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to meet this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in my head, uh, uh, master of knowledge, get. Yeah. Mm. So did you, did you meet uh, the father? Yes, I did. Was he this incredible? Yes. <laughs> so, because, you know, in the, in the books, he's always like, yeah. Okay. He's the, 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 the craziest firefighter. You see, and, you and see that's the I thing. Would like, I would like to talk to you about. I'm probably the only one with David who can literally talk about that because people say, "Yeah, I heard about this. I heard about that." Yeah. I know also from uh, uh, the Yamakasi, the cousin, cousin, they've got some issues with David's fathers mm -hmm. because he did some stuff which yeah. is not, it's not good. Yeah. Which doesn't doesn't put aside. The other side, yeah. it, you see, that's yeah. what I don't put any excuse for. Yeah, what it is. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't read. Know, it, yeah. yeah, I don't know the full extent of this. Yeah. Okay, and uh, and that's it. Because of that, it just makes me realize. You see, this is life. Nobody's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And uh, even this person did that, but you see, there is that too. So, mm -hmm. however, so that's why I never idolize people. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the all all yeah, overall yeah. things. For my personal journey, everything mm -hmm. he did to me. Was good. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. That's yeah. why I'm not advertising mm -hmm. because of what I heard, mm -hmm. and I'm not. But I keep it from me. I'm not judging too much. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm taking it from me because all the advice mm -hmm. he gave it to me. That's why I talk with David about that. I say, my God, I'm struggled so much because from in my in my brain, like the stuff he gave mm -hmm. it to me for drawing, you must keep on drawing and stuff like, mm -hmm. like oh, a lot of stuff he gave it to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why I say that? Uh, we're talking about that. I was talking about. Yeah, was it, you said to me, was it like this, okay? Yeah, yeah. So in my journey of development, I was in a journey of understanding why David is so good, mm -hmm. okay? And why me, I can't, I can't overcome mm -hmm. this mental blockage. Mm -hmm. Then David talked to me about his father. Oh, I need to be trained by his father, so maybe I'm going to get something. Mm -hmm. That was my naive mm -hmm. mindset. Then I was there. Mm -hmm. Over there, at this time when I met him, he wasn't doing like anything like spastic. Uh, specific mm -hmm. um, amazing okay mm -hmm. but we I heard people around mm -hmm. like uh, when like say we come like mm -hmm. in the town with David and mm -hmm. someone said oh is that your father and they say uh, and David said yeah and then the guy started to talk okay oh, I saw him last time he did this and that that yeah, yeah, like yeah. and what's that for me so, oh. <laughs> so for me you see in the master side for me I was like I was young but I was like it's for example there is a window I was watching like when let's say he goes to the garden I was watching because I want, I, but it was more in my brain. Like yeah, I yeah. thought he's gonna do. Ka -me -ha -me -ha. So like, <laughs> anyway, you know, like, but anyway, that's that was my mindset. But in that journey, yeah. because I was young, I had to do my military service, mm -hmm. and uh, and I was on a quest. I wanted to know the truth mm -hmm. because I heard about story. David mm -hmm. told me about the story. Mm -hmm. So all the stuff. So what I did because when I was firefighter mm -hmm. in Paris. I was right in that place where. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where he was. Or? Yes. Ah, yes, okay. but I chased. I literally chased while I was doing my military services yeah. and my stuff. I because I saw after I, I did the liquid special. I don't know if you know what mm -hmm. is liquid special. No, it's, it's, it's a special, special group. Or? Special group who does uh, gymnastic stuff mm -hmm. and everything. And David's father was in the liquid special. Yeah. It was very special there. Yeah, you see, it was like it was someone there. Mm -hmm. So for me, being there, 
Okay. I was looking whoever had the uh, gray or white hair, like really like a lot of like uh, like uh, chief like general stuff. I was like, I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him. <laughs> and even like you know you have to respect. You can't go like this. Mm -hmm. and I was like, but under the sports. Um, Hat, mm -hmm. you can literally talk easier and for me mm -hmm. and and uh, it's Masena you've got the you've got the wall and you've got all the pictures from oh, all the generation like all the, of course yeah. Yeah. for me I was like see <laughs> I was I had all my friends you know, who does like firefighters that have no idea about parkour nothing yeah. but I was yeah. like I was like like a spy inside a mall inside <laughs> and I was like what's up? okay we're gonna go here there okay you got a break and everything as soon as I got a break I was to the wall okay yeah. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 50 or whatever yeah, yeah. and I was like oh there you go and I was I was watching all the, all the stuff and I was watching the pictures there and, and then I saw the I saw the guy I said oh and then I didn't ask about it. I said oh why are you here somebody yeah I'm here here and then I asked I say oh you were there exactly the same place where his father is and say right. say oh do you know this person I say yeah, I know him. I said, because I know I know his son. I said, really? And then he says his name because the nickname of uh, David's father was Kamikaze. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Maybe it's Kamikaze. Yeah. So that's yeah. where I clicked. And then I said, oh, you know Kamikaze? So I said, yeah. So, and then I start to talk and I said, so, yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, I was there, I was trained with him. And mm -hmm. I said, oh my God, I haven't met him for ages because he just completely disappeared out mm -hmm. of the uh, and then for me, so yeah, but I don't care. All I want, I need to ask you a few questions. Yeah, <laughs> so for me, that's why. And I, I asked, but one thing I remember, because I brought, I, I bring to David one of the guy who met, uh, who was a good friend with his father. And one thing I always, always remember is when he came uh, to Lis, yeah. he spoke with David and I say, was he really good? He said, he say, uh, David's father didn't do sport. He was the sport. <laughs> That's the <laughs> sentence I'm mean. See, it was like, okay. But did you, did you ever saw him like doing chin ups? There is two things I've seen oh. him doing it. One in uh, 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 cousin uh, in Sarcel. Yeah. I was talking with uh, with his with his with his dad, uh, David's dad. Yeah. David was downstairs, okay. And I was like this, okay. And I ask, I, I, and there is stuff you can still see in lists, mm -hmm. and I will explain it to you after. It was, uh, it's okay for the camera, but anyway, yeah. so I was looking at, tell me which, which exercise can I do uh, to do, uh, like, uh, to, to develop my strength and everything. Mm -hmm. And trust me, uh, I've never seen do any warm-up, any training, nothing. No? No, 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 no. Even when we were together, we were doing stuff, but he was doing a lot of stuff, but nothing like, we go outside, we do practice. If we go outside, just look at us and that's it. I give advice, mm -hmm. done, that's it. But then he was there, there is a, you know the double bed? Yeah. Okay, it was like that in the double bed. Okay, like this, he talked to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now I was talking, so it was like this. I said, Yeah, yeah, but you know, there's many exercises you can do, but what is very important is like the core strength exercise. Yeah. And he said, Literally, I give you just an example. You hold like this, okay? Yeah. He's talking, talking, and you just lift this, and then after you hold like that. Yeah. See, like you all know what you mean. <laughs> he said, You just hold like that. So you yeah. can, at the beginning, it's a bit hard, but you just try. He's talking like this. And but you make it so easy. Yeah. So I didn't realize. That's really impressive. Yeah, but no, it, it wasn't. When I saw it, trust me, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. the way he did it, it's like, yeah, you can't take this bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, it, I know, I know. So I was just, and I didn't even, like, he did this, and she was like, oh, okay, thank you, good. And then after we talked, he left, he did the stuff, and then I was dead. And then I said, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> I went there, I was like, I can't even hold my body. I was like, damn it, I can't do it. I was young, but. Yeah. I think that's where the strike came. Mm -hmm. When he explained nothing, nothing really yeah, clicked yeah. in me. Nothing. I, I think I can relate to Many people can relate to it because parkour seems to be easy. Yeah. You know, like the jumps we did downstairs, like to the ball, you know, it seems easy. Mm. But if you, if you don't get used to it, it's yeah. nearly impossible for yeah. people. And mm -hmm. the way how people show you, someone yeah. can show you a handstand, like make an effort, and someone says, oh, you know, you just go like this, yeah. you can walk, yeah. you can do this, and then you yeah. see this a lot in Cirque du Soleil, so like, they make yeah. it so easy, it's like, I'm gonna do it too, and then when you try. So however, he did that, and another stuff also he showed me, it was in Lis, next to the, uh, the, the school, yeah. uh, there is a grass, and between the basketball, there is a basketball pitch, there is on the floor like kind of like a pavement. It's like uh, stuff like um, can I draw? Yeah. So it's <laughs> gonna draw. So you got the pavement and it's stuff like that. Okay, on the pavement. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then after I keep on going, and you've got a long, long way of stuff like that on the floor. So it's ah, it's I know those. Yeah, it's it's uh, for the cars that they don't. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So they've got stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> that stuff stay in my head forever. Because yeah. even now, when I go back to Lis, the pictures come back and I yeah, see yeah. it. And then it was there. So there but it was. But it's only like this high, right? Yeah, it's not yeah, that high. It's it, like this. Yeah, and then yeah. the, 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 the gap between is maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. literally, you do. You do blah, blah, blah. I know those, yeah. Okay. So it was there and it was, it was in this position. So you see what you can do here? Okay, let me see. I tried to, do, uh, to draw uh, someone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry for my bad drawing today. So is someone there? Okay. Yeah. See, is there? Like quatre petit. Voila. Like this. You see. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. It's a bit bigger because it's not. Yeah. It's not that. It's, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. not that big. <laughs> it's smaller. However, what he showed me to do, what he did, he did the jump from here to there, like a hop up. Yeah. Hop up, like bunny. Uh, so yeah, he yeah, jumped yeah. like this, hands. And feet, yeah. and hands and feet, and hands and feet. But the way short, it, it was like yeah, it was a like tuck, a cat. Tuck, 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 that's the kind of exercise you can do. And then after all, you stand up and just do it. And I was like again, again. I it, it didn't strike me because I think because it doesn't do any anything. So for me, so yeah, yeah, but obviously it's not moving anymore. So yeah, it's, yeah. You can't do stuff. So he showed me this tiny thing, which is not very. Yeah. Very impressive, whatever. So it's only when I try and I was there, I was like, how can I jump that? Like, uh, you, you, the only thing is, you go there, you go there, you try, and then after you get, you will be exactly in my shoes how yeah, I felt. I know. I was like, damn. I can't really relate with this exercise or this. Yeah. Yeah. And he did like how easy he, did, he does it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But he did a lot of stuff, like throwing knife, yeah. like. Like uh, against uh, against a tree, and yeah. people can do pull-ups on it and everything. Like, but like it, so but impressive. this is more stories. Yeah, that's that's my yeah, personal that's, stories. Yeah, that's what I want to. to that's my personal yeah. stories. The other stuff, I I heard like so many stuff. Like the guy who say like, yeah. oh, I saw your dad came, and he was like, uh, you know, like when you've got a bar, fixed bar. Yeah. That was what the guy said, but yeah. I've never seen it. Yeah. Just, Damn it! I should was to be there. So he said his dad was doing that, like from holding this, he was yeah. doing up. Up. Like a super flush, yeah. 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 See, for me, it's like, no, no. I was, uh, even now, I try to do yeah. that. That's yeah. why yeah. If, sometimes lines. you can surprise me doing just that, try to do that without, without bending because, mm, because I, of the story. You know, I, I, I had some gymna gymnastics back yeah. on myself. Yeah. I can yeah. do it with swing, you know, like, yeah. and I can do it, but en force. Voilà. Okay. And yeah. I've never seen it, even not, like sometimes yeah. I go on YouTube, I try, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I haven't seen it. So, so maybe the guy haven't seen it. So it's become legend. That's how legends come in. It's like yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. the guy didn't see it properly. Maybe and, he did the, that's, just the plan. That's why I'm happy to to ask you those questions, and that's making it more real. And yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. But but again, like David had video in white and black when I saw from yeah. uh, when his dad doing like. Um, uh, like very impressive, like coming in, double double front feet, yeah. which you see now, but at this time and how it made, mm. and also when I talk about the stories, because he had stories, it's written stories. Mm -hmm. It's not just, uh, uh, because there is this story when uh, they had a, a problem in uh, Paris, mm -hmm. they had a flag, have you heard about the story? Yeah, the story, yeah, tell it, tell it, tell it. Huh? Okay, so so you have the story, and then there is it is they need someone to get there to yeah. get the flag. It's it, it's and done. He went up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for, for so you see that this one, yeah. yeah. And it's it's true story, like even like a. Well, yeah. anyway, but well, we can talk for hours yeah, about it because for yeah. me it's my. It's you a, know what? What I'm interested um, then because because before we start because downstairs, yeah. Just one thing I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> The reason I talk about that, because it's the same thing I put a video about my Tyson and someone sent me a message, yeah, but it's a rapist and stuff like that, you know, which from this side, I don't know what is the truth, okay, he, he's, he's been in jail, he do, he's done his, his stuff, I'm not even talking about this part, mm -hmm. this is his part. My video was about the discipline mm -hmm. and the work ethic he had, mm -hmm. the good thing he did, mm -hmm. which like Bruce, he said, take what is useful, mm -hmm. discard what is useless. Mm -hmm. For you, for your own development, mm -hmm. and sometimes people don't get that, so they go say, "Yeah, David did this, David's dad did that," and they mm -hmm. say, "I'm not denying that. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, for your own development, mm -hmm. what you're looking for, mm -hmm. this bit is true mm -hmm. and great for your own development. Yeah. To keep on going. Mm -hmm. You can condemn that, yeah. but you can you can still use that yeah. as a, and that's the story. That's why I talk about." Yeah, my Tyson because it's exactly the same thing. The relationship between the mentor it's going to be very important. I think I'm going to talk about this again because there is a time when I was impressed by people, individual, mm -hmm. 
But now, as a coach, as a parent, I'm much more impressed by the people who, the mentor, the yeah. guy who, who sees the diamond inside you mm -hmm. and make you raise like yeah. something amazing. Which Gus D'Amato, <coughs> which was the, the trainer of Mike Tyson, mm -hmm. that's what he did to him. Ah, okay. It's still on YouTube, you can find it. It's yeah. absolutely mm. amazing yeah. what he did for him. You see the potential. Yeah, and, then... and the psychology effect mm. and everything. Like, yeah. you have no clue, so I'm asking you, what do you like the most in your life and yeah. everything, stuff like that. Yeah. And I see, you just say to me, so, okay, now I know what is the spark. Yeah. And then after I do it, and he, he rebuilt around that. That's what interested me. That's what interests me with Dave, uh, yeah. David's dad. That's why for me, David is good, was good. But that's not what was important. What mm. makes him good? Yeah. So, <coughs> I I wanted to ask you before we are, start talking about parkour and maybe the story. <laughs> <laughs> Start. Uh, <coughs> like you you developed this term free running back back in the years. Like yeah. How, if you look back now in mm. the years, like it's the question from Ben. Like how do you see the word free running if you look now back to history and can you still relate to this now? Can, can I interrupt and add the, um, the kind of context of that? Yeah. So they, they I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. And, but this is also how your, your, your journey came into England and London. So mm -hmm. because the German audience might not know as much. So um, in 2003, there was a documentary, Jump London, with the um, TV channel, Channel 4, which is one of the main English channels. Yeah. And this is actually the first thing I ever saw of parkour. Mm. A friend came around with a DVD and said, hey, watch this. And I was like, whoa, this is amazing. Mm. Um, and that's when a lot of English people started. But I think, and then after that in 2005 was another documentary, mm. Jump London. Jump Britain. Uh, J yeah, Jump Britain. Jump Britain, yeah. which is where you, you came back and yeah. kind of visited the people who yeah. started training yeah, yeah, yeah. and the tour yes, and yes, it was sharing yeah. their journey yeah. and your journey. Yeah. And that was, yeah, that was the great of it. But I, th I think the word free running has its kind of origins around this time, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And you can see if you, it's that the beauty with everything I'm gonna say, people can trust back and find history, yeah. mm. which sometimes I, I won't, <laughs> I won't get too much into like the, the story. <laughs> sometimes people say stuff, it's like it's related to what is that? It's like I create, like they create stories, but on their own, they make it like big. Mm. I got, I got an example like really strike me last time, and I'm not judging, but it's like uh, I think it's. Uh, no, no, I don't have to say that because it's mm -hmm. just it's just dem demeaning on mm -hmm. people, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's not what I want. Yeah. Uh, the the true the true things I wanted to say there is like it's good because you can trust back everything I say and you can question myself about yeah, everything that's I cool. say. And jump London, basically, you can see me using the word parkour yeah. and the word free. But only once, and then they edit it out or later. Yeah, but even my work, yeah. you can oh, I say free running now because I was on this, like my decision mm. like, oh, should mm. we switch because parkour yeah. is really the word I love, like it's in my heart, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's called parkour. Yeah. But then because at this time in Jump London, David and I, we were not talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there, yeah, do yeah. your thing, now it's enough. Yeah. And it was like, well, for me, it's, my, like, it's like my brother. Yeah. But I had to make this decision to fly by myself yeah. for many reasons. And I didn't understand David. David didn't understand me, but I did understand him. Mm -hmm. uh, the book Relentless is, is mm -hmm. really good. I, I repeat again, because yeah. he really explained the mindset he required to be the greatest. Mm -hmm. And only those who are in this particular mindset yeah. understand each other, yeah. which is Tiger Wood, Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. Roger Federer, Michael Schumacher, it's, there is there is a lot of champion, but I repeat those one are in a different different um, mm. scale, mm -hmm. different world. Okay. Yeah. David was in the past of that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you see the attribute of all those guys, mm -hmm. oh, they were very selfish. Oh, winning is about all about winning. They don't care about this. If they were almost like I'm not saying David was cheating. Yeah. Okay. But if cheating was this, any meaning to get to the point is important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the winner. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the ultimate winner. Yeah. David was in the past of that. Yeah. So, like there is this. That's why why he why so many people separated to him. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like so different. I can explain. I can explain the beauty of Yamakasi, mm. the idea, the concept mm -hmm. behind that. There is a few things I disagree, but it's, mm -hmm. it's personal opinion. But the the the, the camaraderie, the, mm -hmm. the 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 unification, the lifting like mm. lifting the guy who is the last. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah, it's completely that's, the opposite. That's what you said. Like, um, he was not so good at it's. Yeah, please. It's um, he was not good at building. Uh, mm. uh, and then uh, one one of my, f yeah, he could breed people together, mm -hmm. 
as far as your aim is to be great, yeah. and you better be great. Yeah. If you're not uh, great enough, if you're not great enough, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you're 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 um, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. limitate the potential of the group. So, yeah, I've read it in, in the book from Julie. Mm. Like if one did the jump, everyone had to do the jump. Mm. Is it true? Mm. That's more Jan. Good point of Jan teaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very important people understand the subtlety. <laughs> Jan would say, if I, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but Jan in his mindset or in his, the, the other guy, they'll be like, everyone has to do the jump and we stay here to support you, mm -hmm. but yeah. you must do the jump. Yeah. Okay? In the David mindset, it's not that. Yeah. It's like, you must do the jump, yeah. you've got 10 seconds. If you yeah. don't do the jump, I'll go. We're out, we're yeah. just leaving. Yeah. yeah. Completely different mindset. None of them is yeah. wrong and, and like it's yeah. different mindset. A, a friend of mine, uh, Fabian, he, he wants to um, ask a question. Like we start <coughs> together, we finish together. This mm. old Yamakati thing. Yeah, that's Yamakati. How um, how did it start? How, what's translation uh, to French and when did it start? See, uh, you need to ask the Yamakasi. Okay, because you were Yamakasi in the beginning, no, right? No, no, no. I started you. I, okay, I was Yamakasi for a very short period of time. Ah, okay. The period of time when everything launched and the success like of Yamakasi in France, mm -hmm. where really like we were like, like completely 2000, unknown. 2000 2001? No, 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 not even 2000. It was. Yeah. Stade was in 1917. Is that 2000? 2000? 2000 mm -hmm. or 2001? Oh, no, 1999. Mm, yeah. 1999, I think. Anyway, the samurai, attempt to modern, blah blah. It was like. C'est après. Okay. One, 2001, I think. Yeah, I was going already. Stade 2 was 97. Uh, yeah. Stade 2, 1997. Yeah. yeah. Stade 2 is the starting of the belief. The, the thing, like, there is with the, the, the group, help, because it's very hard by an individual to believe in himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if he's got all the skills, it's mm -hmm. obvious you're good. It's not that easy. Mm -hmm. And I, will, I can explain also if we've got time to explain that. However, that's what I learned on my personal mm -hmm. journey. That's why I try to share people. Mm -hmm. But anyway, at this time, uh, Yamakasi, me, I was working. I was uh, after I did firefighter, and I was working in the tower, like firefighter. Mm -hmm. And they said, we need you, we're going to create a group and everything. So I said, ah, you know mm -hmm. what, they've got too many egos. It won't work, whatever. I said, no, no, we need you. So we did this. Okay, we're going to create, we need a name. What, what we call it? What we call it? Okay, okay let's call it... Uh, uh, Esprit fort, uh, Yam Yamakasi, uh, uh, Guilin, Yamakasi, yeah, okay, Yamakasi, go, oh, Yamakasi, go. <laughs> okay, take a take, put it in the stade, de, yeah, you know what, you need an appointment, so, no, no, just, just a few minutes of your time, oh, phew, okay. oh my god, that's amazing, we're gonna do it, <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> the ball rolled, yeah, there is two reasons I didn't com continue with this, my fear, that's an honest, honest mm -hmm. answer, personal for me, mm -hmm. the guy together, mm -hmm. as a team, mm -hmm. they were, bold and strong, mm -hmm. like they had a very good ethos. Mm -hmm. David by himself, he had the, the strength mm -hmm. to succeed by himself. He had, he had he yeah, need, yeah, yeah. He need absolutely nobody. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, but he always have like, you always need a bit of surrounding. Yeah, yeah. However, as an like individual... Stefan was a long time with him in the beginning, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Stefan Arab after. Af uh, after, yeah. Stefan yeah, Arab yeah. after. Yeah. However, they, it's really to understand yeah. the mindset because if everyone understands mm -hmm. the mindset, mm -hmm. then they can understand the difficulties of yeah. even Julie writes a book, but it's very, it's, mm. it's tough uh, mm -hmm. for uh, stuff. Write a book like that. Just short question: Did she talk to you as well, Julie? Julie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I spoke with Julie for her first essay of a book, yeah. Yeah. but I told her for the next one I don't want to be part of it. Oh, okay. I don't want to be mm. near anything of that. So yeah. Okay. The reason is is because. Uh, everyone get hurt at a certain point and mm -hmm. everyone see things how people see you. Mm -hmm. You know what you bring to something, but sometimes it's, you think you bring it like that, but people don't see it like that. So mm -hmm. when I did the stuff with Julie, mm -hmm. it was a kind of a tester for me to see what the other guy is going to say mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. It's purely selfish, but that initiates everything else. Yeah. I say, okay, for them I bring nothing. Mm -hmm. It's clear. It's just say, oh, Seb is one of us, he was there, just mm -hmm. bring that. Mm -hmm. So say, oh, okay, that's how you see that. Mm -hmm. That's where I close even more. Mm. I'm still open, you see, I'm kind of talking, mm. but that's if people don't understand me. Ah, mm. okay, this guy is kind of like, he's in this bubble, like Master mm. Yoda. But I, after that, what Julie mm. did, which normally is supposed to mm. make people together, mm. it, it coincided almost the same time when we did the, we were doing like FIAD and all this, try to do federation. Mm. And I'm the one 
who bring everyone together. I don't know if you've seen this picture with a damn delight mm -hmm. at this show. And yeah. I, I worked very hard to make yeah. them together because yeah. I had I was in a position I, I could do that, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. then they two have some, some difficulties mm -hmm. between. But that was for me maybe a good for the future, but I've seen there is still issues. Mm -hmm. And I say, so after now we I do if we got kids, it's still mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So all this stuff mixed together, I say, okay, now, okay, now live your life, guys. Yeah. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. So, uh, Where were about we? uh, Yamakasi, the beginning. Yeah, so Yamakasi, uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. we start yeah. together, we finish together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come up with this long, long, long after. With long after, I think yeah, yeah. It's, they can explain a way better than yeah. how it starts and everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going there because I'm going to say this. Yeah, yeah. So that was their stuff. That was their stuff. And me, because of the fear, yeah. go back to me. Yeah, that's it. I was between two things. Mm -hmm. Struggling doing what I like to do mm -hmm. or struggling doing what I don't like to mm -hmm. do. And mm -hmm. before that, mm -hmm. my parents told me you must have a job, you must have qualification. Mm -hmm. I was uh, conditioned, mm -hmm. like this is it, this is mm -hmm. this is it. You need to do that. Yeah. And I said, oh, we're doing this. So I said, well, what is that? At this time, no success. Nobody knew it's gonna be anything. Yeah. Okay. And for me, said, hey guys, <clears throat> I would love to, but I need to work. I need yeah. to to do something. So that's why that's why I start to work, and I was doing my firefighter stuff, yeah. and mm -hmm. I was working. Yeah. When they contacted me. None of them, they were doing like sporadic job, but I had like pretty decent mm -hmm. job and yeah, like yeah. you can have a career doing yeah. this. So for me it's like, ah. yeah. but it's a very good analogy with Sparkle, mm -hmm. the, mm. the risk taking. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't, I've never been a risk taker. Yeah, you, you try to make it safe, the yeah. job. Mm -hmm. I've always been my personality, mm -hmm. try to make mm -hmm. it safe. Mm -hmm. Not bold, not a guy who dare. Mm -hmm. That's why when I met David, it was mm -hmm. very impressive what he's doing because mm -hmm. Stuff now is so easy, but for me it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. always turning to the negative. Yeah, I would say the, yeah, yeah. the, the falling, yeah. not the success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they take me a long journey. I can explain, that's why sometimes I say, maybe I'm gonna write a book about that because it's, it's yeah, uh, it, can, it can help people to understand uh, uh, from one point of view because it's not a point of view from a, a, mm. a strong guy. Mm -hmm. See, that's why also it annoyed me when they came with uh, 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 yeah. Esprit Fort, mm -hmm. uh, strong mind, strong body. Because I never felt like that. I said, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Because for me, yeah. it was too cocky to have that, like to mm -hmm. wear it. Mm -hmm. Because I knew inside, like, yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm not really like that. I can't really yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. See, for me, so you I, can't feel it, you know, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, because my artistic that's side. That's really honest. That's yeah. Really, that's uh, really what I like about it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the truth. That's how people can grow from this. Because, oh, yeah. because they can see my mindset. So, also, and as me came with Art du Déplacement, Mm -hmm. Because at this time when they came with Yamakasi, Esprit Fort Poetry, I need something else to help me to wear it. Yeah. I need to bring, and that's where I came because it's my artistic mindset. Okay, we're gonna call it Art du Déplacement. And because I was the one who's drawing and doing the logo, the first logo ever, mm -hmm. I'm the one who did it. Now everyone's got logo, you got plenty yeah. of logo, <laughs> but the first logo ever, I came up with. Mm -hmm. Or maybe somebody said, ah, too many logo, who come with that? I'm, the, I'm responsible for, <laughs> for this mess. I'm responsible for the mess of the logo. Yeah. I'm responsible for the mess of the name. <laughs> now you've got Paco, free running, RDD <laughs> de placement, uh, street, whatever. I, I initiate that with yeah. my uh, free running thing. However, I did it for a uh, purpose of freedom, not for purpose yeah. of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of, of uh, taking, uh, it. taking it. That's why yeah. I never claim, like, yeah, yeah. Say, oh, my gym called free running. I said, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Because I'm in a different mindset. Yeah. So, however, so Yamakasi, they did their stuff. They did successfully uh, from a taxi, a stunt mm -hmm. in taxi. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. after Luc Plamondon, Notre Dame de Paris. Yeah. And then you can feel inside, if you're a person meditate like me, you can see, it's not jealousy, but it's a seed. That's why I talk, mm -hmm. seed of jealousy of, oh my God, they've been bold, they've done it. And everyone around say, oh, why are you not with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, but for me, because I'm a man of words, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, but when they, when I was, when I was near them, mm -hmm. I didn't took the decision to go with them. Mm -hmm. So why would I go now when mm -hmm. it's easier? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. So my bold choice is say, okay, they yeah. did their stuff. Well done, guys. Mm -hmm. I do my thing. So which my thing was to teach. Any of them you can talk, say, but he always wanted to teach. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who is like philosophy that he wanted to teach. That's why I opened the first indoor place with my association yeah. in lease and everything you see in the transport sport. And at this time, yeah. David and all the guys, even Stefan was like, yeah, what? the true is outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be bad vision for me. No, no. We can. Okay. So this, this coaching thing, we, oui. um, Paco has values, right? For, for which values did you learn? What, what, you know, like, because I, I learned some values with Paco, like to be honest to yourself, yeah. you know? 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What, what are you? What are you? What did you learn from parkour? How did it change your life? <sighs> you see, that's now. I go back to the word. Parkour teach me one thing. Parkour from A to B, mm -hmm. the the original mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. to be bolder and to dare more, mm -hmm. and to not be afraid to take risk. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. After, there is another part of my life, mm -hmm. which parkour for me, I moved from parkour to free running, mm -hmm. but I didn't know, I call it free running, but it's not the free running people practice now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the mix with the parkour and gymnastic, which yeah. is literally that's what they do. Yeah. Now they conflict with fig. So you're yeah. doing gymnastic, you're literally <laughs> stealing stuff from gymnastic yeah. and you're complaining, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's their problem. However, that's how it is. So it's still creativity, but it's still two, two things we see, gymnastic and parkour. Mm -hmm. That's not what I was to do, what I was doing. Okay. And people to understand me, they need to understand Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. If they don't understand, never read Bruce Lee, they don't know who it is, they just see the movie, so you don't get it. Mm -hmm. If you understand the philosopher, the guy who was mm -hmm. a genius uh, head above uh, his time, because you understand like when there is all the belts, all the certification, mm -hmm. everyone like very still, okay, this mm -hmm. is it, he has to be like that. No, because the grandmaster and grand grand grandmaster say it has to be like that. He came and said, you know what? Mm. I take what is useful and this guy what is, mm. what is mm. useless yeah. and I'm going to create something based on my phys how I'm shaped, yeah. how I am yeah. and based on uh, um, my belief. Yeah. Okay. Fast, he's the fast guy, he can't, he can't win with uh, uh, strength with his weight mm -hmm. because his weight is nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But he had his own attribute and he developed a system Literally, it almost like it become magical. Mm. You know, like when mm. you reach a certain level, like mm. uh, <laughs> like someone show you magical tricks. You say, "Oh my God, how did you do that?" Because it's uh, it's mastery. You get so far. And, uh, but is there this the system that you developed it for yourself for parkour as well? Can, no. Can you explain? You know, or you okay. adapt it? You know, like okay. So that's maybe the very okay. I explain exactly what's happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was doing parkour. Mm -hmm. Then after. There is two things. People say parkour is this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. David said clearly, this is a legacy of my father. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've got ultimately no right to continue the legacy, and it's mm -hmm. almost like still. So okay, okay, that's your thing. Mm -hmm. But I still believe I do something, so I know I want to do my thing. Mm -hmm. So that's the conflict. So how dare you mm -hmm. do your thing now? You think you're so good? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm. I'm. I'm not as good. I wasn't as good as David. Mm -hmm. But by doing this bold move to mm. get away from the safety of being my friend mm. i fell into a place like okay now it's you man now and it started in nike advert mm -hmm. it's angry cheek mm -hmm. it's the first time ever i did something where even me i watched the video i said my god i've got that was good what i did mm. because yeah. no one told me around mm. yeah you, they okay. say you're you're my friend but mm. i'm not saying you're good mm. so when i did that uh when i did this stuff it's just you yeah, it's just give me a, a bit of confidence. I mm -hmm. say, yeah, man, you're not the best, but you're not the worst. But you're something. Yeah, that's the starting point. Mm -hmm. Once I did that, I get bolder. When, 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 when was it, the, the Angry Chicken? Angry Chicken, 2001, maybe? Two, one, one? Uh, 2000, well, I don't know. We, I don't know. We need to type 2001, 2002. Okay. Because it was before Jump Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, was yeah, yeah see, you see. And no, you see, my, my journey is a journey because of. That's the yeah, journey. my journey is a journey of escalation. Mm -hmm. And self belief, mm -hmm. and self belief by yourself. So mm -hmm. it's like when you've got yeah. nobody to hold. So from Angry Chicken, when I did that one, we say, no, no, we want, we want you to be the. And for me, literally, say, yeah, but my friend David is better, <laughs> and if he comes, it's gonna be good. And every time, like, let's say we were shooting, we're gonna start to shoot. We have to do the recce, watch around. Me, I was looking there, there, the people, like, for, they were looking up. We said, yeah. do you think you can do that? For me, I said. You see, because of my vertigo, so my god, I can't do that. Uh, so that, in a way, pushes me to yeah, a place yeah. like I'm not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And I've been there, like squeezed yeah. between, oh my god! Mm -hmm. So I realized what it is also. What do you have to do to make, to be, to satisfy the client mm -hmm. and for you to be good? Yeah, of course. See? I, 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 and trust me, I'm not David. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not doing my, my poor jump. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I know. You, you never did it? No, never. Yeah. And even now, I don't want to do it. Yeah. You see, there is always ego say, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> no, forget that. That's not my thing. And I can explain even more now. Because would, would you do it if, if they say, because I heard the rumor that it's going to be deconstructed? Would you do it? Uh, no, no, okay. not. no. No, I, I, I will explain when we talk yeah. about my, my, uh, where I am in my journey. Mm -hmm. Because my concept is, is, is really well written. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, I'm, I'm very good at hiding knowledge or conveying 
things people mm. need, dorsal hiding things. Mm. It's linked with all the urban free flow stuff when people literally disrespect and take stuff and say, yeah. this is mine and yeah. mine and mine. So that's linked with that. If people don't know what is urban free flow and stuff like that, this period, uh, right with John Britton, which was good, but at the same time, okay, oh my God, now it's like they yeah. try, it's like competition. There is yeah. an official competition. People, uh, you see, that's why I'm not blaming them. It's natural. It's like, yeah. okay, the king is dead. Long live the king. Okay. <laughs> so, however, that was where I was. So, why I say that is because my system is, is well yeah. written and well thought behind. So, uh, uh, so, my power, forget it. Mm. Okay, being the best, forget it. Yeah, I'm, it's it's gone. It's it's like yeah, mm. it's it's definitely not where I am now in my phase. Yeah. So going through the timeline, we've had the night angry chicken. Night you said chicken. it's the escalation. Jump and London. Next came jump London. Jump London. And when you were talking about man manpower gap, it reminded me. There's the jump in jump London from the the military ship, and you walk to yes. the top thing, yes. and that's a kind of equivalent to manpower. So you haven't done manpower, but there was that one, and I think. Okay, at this time, now I'm yeah, going to make a revelation at this time. <laughs> I talk, Jerome know a lot about my system and everything, mm. because I system, I develop a system, because obviously there is some stuff. I was more um, a magician. Mm -hmm. I've got the skills, but I was, I understand the visual aspect. So I was able to do things which looks dangerous, but it was safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which other people will do, David, but if it has manpower, that's man power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is dangerous. There is no crash mat underneath. There mm -hmm. is no, there is no uh, health and safety. There is mm -hmm. no stun gun. Nothing. No, not even an ambulance ready for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know that was mm -hmm. David. Yeah. Me, I can't do that. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Yeah. I, I learned now to reach a point. Okay, now I can. Yeah. But this time, I develop a system mm -hmm. where I'm just looking. So okay, from here, uh, in the mindset of people, this is super high. Mm -hmm. Okay. HMS, every, yeah, HMS yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact, everyone can understand this is a ship, this mm -hmm. is the boat. See in yeah. your head, this is a ship, this is a boat, yeah, yeah, and yeah, this yeah. guy is tiny. Mm -hmm. However, they put some crash map, you know, they put okay. some crash map. I, I, I saw it recently. <clears throat> yeah, yeah they put you, crash see, map. you see the yeah, yeah. black one, black, yeah. black mat. Yeah. So you, you start, I start, you see, everything you do has a purpose, there's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. So you start to get into the mindset of the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm. See? So I'm still doing my performance. Mm. You take a, an actor, you can't do that. He's yeah. going to hurt himself. Yeah. However, and because also you have to repeat, before, like, by pride, people will say, no, I don't want math. I do it, and I do it again, and I do it again. But because I've got the background with physiology and everything, and I know about mechanic and everything, mm. how you can damage yourself, and there is some injury, you never, ever come back. Mm -hmm. I say, you know what? Maybe these things I've got in my head, it's not that stupid, I'm mm. better looking. So, literally, mm. so go back to what I say, everything was... So, it's also a little bit ego, you know, like, I don't need the man or whatever, you know. That's it. Or to be... Voilà. So, there yeah. is a thing, for me, it was very simple. When I train, I train for Jump London, mm -hmm. I train to get a level where everything I'm gonna, they're going to ask me to do, I'm doing, I'm very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also to shut down the ego things. Mm -hmm. So, I do the real jump for dangerous. me. Yeah, dangerous, the ego thing. I do the real jump for mm -hmm. me, but when we're on stage, don't do. Don't you dare come to me and ask me uh, something like, "Could we take off the mud? Could you just say no? No, no. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I'm a professional. Yeah, You're yeah, a professional, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm not, I don't care. And you decide. For me, say, do you see the mat or not? Uh, yeah, we see the mat. Is there any way you can hide the mat? Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly like movie. That's why the ripple effects. Mm -hmm. That's why I did jump on because it, um, mm -hmm. maybe indirectly it bring that. Yeah. So I did jump London. Jump London uh, uh, was like that was that was something. You know, like yeah. the handstand, like uh, <laughs> you fall down. Yeah. So all this stuff. Was, the oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I've There's never done that back. before. Mm -hmm. I've done. I trained myself for that. I literally trained myself for that. That's mm -hmm. why I know train. What is training? Mm -hmm. I knew the specificity mm -hmm. of jump London. I knew what they asked for mm -hmm. based on the knowledge I had from Angry Chicken. Yeah. Okay. Don't look like the height of your knees. <laughs> you need to look up, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and show your best. So that's what I did Jump London. Then after I did Jump Britain. Yeah. Jump Britain, I, I was even stronger. Because yeah. Jump London, physiologically, I had like knee problem. I wasn't really in my mind. But between Jump London and Jump Britain, my concept was much more stronger. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did it with Jerome, who has much more vertigo. Yeah. And it works. He was able to do stuff like, yeah. like he can read. So I said, okay, good. And I did it. So when I did Jump Britain, I was like, yeah. the first time I felt confident, I was like, that's yeah. fine. And yeah. I, the first time I saw the competition, the yeah. guy tried to over overdo us. Yeah. 
Yeah, see. So, but anyway, that was this. But because my ego was gone, so you do whatever you want. Yeah. Because I was more in the path of self development. That's why it's so important for everyone to understand the self development idea. Mm -hmm. It's more important than any jump, any anything. Self development is everything. It's linked with your yeah. life. So, yeah. Hungry Chicken, Nike, Jump London, Jump Britain, and a long Jump London and Jump Britain because my brand of safety. I said, my God, this is just opportunity just came out of the blue. Yeah. What are you gonna do next? There is nothing, and I say that to mm -hmm. Jean. I say, you know what? You need to. We need to work on mm -hmm. how we do stuff. That's why the business mindset. Uh, because mm -hmm. I say, oh, easy, the guy, easy. Yeah. So, his behavior was not good, but not everything is wrong with what he's doing. Mm. Okay. Should we just update? So Easy was the guy who was um, in Urban Free Flow, which was the group in England. I, I think we don't need yeah. to update people. Cool. It's it's the conversation. I'm, I'm not talking for the internet. I'm talking, and yeah. if, if people like to listen, then I, yeah. maybe we can let uh, Urban Free Flow. Like easy, easy. Yeah. So so the thing is, I learn also there is no victim. That's something you need to know. You know, like when you do meditation, spirituality, you're always responsible for your choice. Yeah. That's how they are. Okay. Yeah. So when I met uh, this guy from Urban Free Flow, I could really be very angry. Like some people in France were angry. Yeah. Oh, those guys in England, they're doing it for business and then, 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 then. this stuff like, ah, that's yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. I saw it differently. <clears throat> yeah. I saw it, okay, we've got the, the essence, the roots, the truth, the juice, mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. But they've got the practicality yeah. of how you make it a living with it. Yeah. It's not bad to make a living of no. what you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's another subject also. Sometimes I say, we never talk. But how are you, how are you, Jan? How are you sure? How is your living? Are you yeah. good with your children? Are you raised them good? Are you, could you pay out the bill or are you still struggling? Because I'm 43. Yeah. If I'm a successful person, or said is 43, I invited you in my house. It's not a villa, it's not a huge one. Oh, yeah, yeah. In my house, and I say, yeah, I'm quite comfortable now because mm -hmm. that's mean I set up something cleverly. Yeah. That's why I say, I refuse, I literally refuse to use my body, my muscle, 99% yeah. of my time. Yeah. My, our superpower as a human being is yeah. the brain. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I literally prefer yeah. to, have, to think, to read, to look at any guys who can make me um, financially cl uh, intelligent yeah. Yeah. and everything and make my things yeah. together yeah. in alignment with my ethos and my philosophy yeah. Yeah. which That's is true. not easy and I think <laughs> we were talking about this that you never and please correct me you, you never lost your integrity right yeah I can't it's, it's because same with me you know I, I don't want to work for Red Bull or whatever or it's take money Red like Bull is no dirty money or whatever the young kids they can and also they've been used and they use it and they're yeah. so happy, I travel, I'm free. No, you're not. Wait a minute, you see soon. Mm. However, <laughs> Red Bull, it's a big machine. They know exactly what they do. They yeah. do it very well. They're super, super, yeah, super yeah. good. They want to touch the youth. Yeah. Parkour is a new thing for the youth. It touch, obviously, there is a merge. Yeah. It's like, it's inevitable. Yeah. They've got the money. We're living in a world where money yeah. is, is king. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. My ethos will say, no, we shouldn't say that. That's the truth. That's it. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you have to follow. That means you, you have your integrity. You can do your thing. And that's the link with what do you want? Mm -hmm. Do you want the whole world? Mm -hmm. Or do you want your own world? And, and that's, that's the thing. Because we all found this, this passion through parkour. This yeah. But that's, that's what I call the um, honeymoon. Yeah. Mm. In my phase, you've Truthy. got you've got four phase, okay? <laughs> yeah. You've got age of roots. That's mm -hmm. where honeymoon. You discover something. Oh my God, I love it so mm -hmm. much. Don't you dare touch it. This is my passion. Mm -hmm. This is everything. Mm -hmm. Then it get it get even stronger because mm -hmm. it's age of fire. Mm -hmm. Age of fire. I'm a teenager. Mm -hmm. Don't even talk to me. I I'm the one. Mm -hmm. I'm literally the one. Mm -hmm. The world is mine. I'm invincible. Mm -hmm. I can do everything. Then after there is age of water. Mm. When now you need to have a meaning of it. That's mm. when you reach like 20, after 26, 25, 26, 20. Like when you start to get to 30 years mm. old. They say, oh my God, I need, I need to make a living. I just want to, yeah. I love it. So yeah, I got yeah. it. I love it. This is me. It's in me. Now I included yeah. me. But I need to make it a, a functional. There's a functionality of it. Mm. That's why it's with, with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. And then the last bit, which we're not here yet. Me, I'm always a little bit um, uh, in advance in my, in my phase. Uh, the last bit is age of air, mm -hmm. of age of wind. Mm -hmm. It's where you realize you won't be here forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. so you're gone. You will yeah. vanish. So you better mm -hmm. understand why you're doing this and just enjoy. 
-hmm. as long as you can. Mm -hmm. and that's how the phase is going. There is no, you see, I, I came up, I come up with it, but it's deeply influenced by all my martial arts. So I create something I want it for me. Mm -hmm. So people say, oh, I don't care about this. Yeah, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. I create it for me. So that even when I teach in the academy, I don't even talk about it. I'm mm -hmm. not even talking about it. Because mm. it's not, it's mature now, it's become very mature, mm. but I don't have my venue. That's why my venue is everything. Mm. Because my sanctuary, that's where I do my own thing. Mm. People say, oh my god, that's not parkour. I, don't, I never say it's parkour. Oh, it's not for any. Yeah, it's written for any, but it's not. Listen, <laughs> because there, there would be everything. The book, when you can see history, oh my god, everyone can literally get the knowledge. You can, I can have videos, so you can, you can literally see everything. But the place where we are, we can't, can't do none of that. Mm. However, so that's the phase. And in between the phase, you've got the waving. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why I say like uh, uh, sometimes you think you're age of water, but your egos come back. See, I'm not, I'm not, you see, like I feel, I feel good, I feel strong. Fire. <laughs> you see, oh, I can't, I can't see. And that you want to prove again. Mm -hmm. You want to prove it. So, no, no, it's not me. And you hurt yourself. Oh, no, no, let's go back to my normal path. And then once you pass the cap, you never go back. It's okay, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You never go back to roots. Mm. You never discover. Unless you practice a new thing. Did, did you ever, <clears throat> when you had those phases, did you ever lost your motivation? Did it, did it really like... Mm. Mm, I never lost my motivation. You no, know, it, it, it came down and... No, uh, I had a depression moment, mm. like a wave, mm. but I'm a highly driven person. Okay. I mean, David is in a quest, mm -hmm. I'm in a quest. Mm -hmm. okay. We've got different quests. Yeah. And well, yeah. as much as David has a fire, I think... Sometimes I feel like my fire is even bigger. Yeah. My quest is even bigger. Because I, we see stuff from you. Yeah. You do. I, I don't see anything from David. Like. Yeah, because I, he's not driven by the same thing. Yeah. Also, David is is mentally is done with parkour. Mm. I, I I have the same impression, but I don't have. I would like to talk. To I choose my word carefully. Yeah. I think he's done with all these political stuff like yeah. issues and stuff like yeah. that, and everyone wants have a say about something. He's the founder of parkour. Yeah. Now he wants to go with Fig and everyone says, hey, yeah. there's no more my hero. He's nothing for me. Yeah. Like if he kills someone, you know? Mm. And for me, it's like, yeah, man. You see, and that touched my, mm -hmm. in my bubble, the freedom aspect. It's like, you want to do your thing? Oh, now he's wearing this, this, uh, this, like, this mm. blue t-shirt. Uh, and they say, oh yeah, how dare he's wearing blue t-shirt. For me, it's like, Okay, you know what? I'm out too. Mm -hmm. Now you understand why Seb is not with the, the, all these figures. I think well, this, uh, I am Paco, I'm not gymnastic. Or something, they were written something, mm -hmm. I yeah, am yeah. Uh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much like sometimes I wanted to, because I can do Photoshop, I want to yeah. write something like counterbalance to say, you know, I'm myself, you know, but I say, no, don't go there, Seb. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. like. Don't uh, enter the battlefield. Yeah, you see, and, and because also you're in between, because also, hey, yeah. now they're gonna think you're with Big. But say, no, 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 I'm not mm -hmm. with Big. Yeah. For me, I understand the, 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 the big pictures. Mm. And I'm not saying like, Fig is like Red Bull, but I understand the big pictures. When I see Red Bull, I understand the big picture. I used to be like, Red Bull is bad. Now it's not like this. Yeah. No more like this anymore. Yeah. There is no victim. You can choose your own way. Yeah. Hmm. And that's it. That's what I learned, I say, like from Urban Free Flow. Yeah. He was doing business, they were making money. Seb, do you do money? Do you make money? No. Why mm -hmm. is that? That's how you learn. That's how the yeah. brain, that the, the superpower we've got, you make it work by questioning. That's yeah. why you know me when someone comes to me and says, Oh my God, you're good, yeah. Could you sign an autograph? And I say, You're gone. So, okay, great. <laughs> Man, I've been to a journey of self development where I can share so much. You meet me and you don't even ask one question. Yeah. Something bothers you. How is your back? Yeah. Have you done, like, like you've done, you started in 25, 26 years. 26 years of jumping. He's quite passionate. He's jumping all the time on concrete. Da, 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 da. How is he? Because I'm, I'm, I'm loving so much. I want to know if after I'm going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Nobody asks. They just come and say, yeah, good. I'm yeah. Like, well, you better ask. Yeah, so, that's, we were talking about this, yeah. Mm. That's the question. Life? Your life, how you make your mm. living, okay? Health, mm. is it truly healthy? Mm. Okay, because we can talk, about, I'm a poet, so I can talk yeah. about this, like, but tell me the truth. Now you're yeah. 43, what's yeah. happening in 43? They don't ask. Can I ask you? Yeah, yeah, you can. What so do you want to we, we, we asked, we talked a little bit about it, and you said you feel pretty, pretty fine. Mm. You had little problems with your wrist, mm. you know? I know. I have little problems with my wrist. 
But how, how do you feel <coughs> after like this amount of time in Parkour? How's your body? My body is okay, but it's, it's damaged. Mm -hmm. So people won't see it, mm -hmm. but compared to before, mm -hmm. it's different. It's completely mm -hmm. different body. So I, I now I'm age of water, so I'm mm -hmm. really comfortable to, mm -hmm. to wave with my body. However, <coughs> uh, let's to explain. When I wake up, I'm not waking up like I was waking up when I was 20. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Bruce Lee was yeah. absolutely right when he said, running water never grows stale. Mm -hmm. That's why when I say activity is vitality. Yeah, it's, it and keeps you alive. keep on moving, because mm -hmm. each time I stop moving, yeah. it's not good. Yeah. But if when I move, I yeah. feel 20 years old. I can do almost everything I used to yeah. do. I saw you moving and you move pretty, pretty well. Because I, I saw, well, it's, it, I feel embarrassed to say this to you, but um, <laughs> you know, uh, because as, I, like I told you, I saw Jan last year, yeah, yeah. and and he had maybe he had some injury, whatever, mm. and he didn't move so well anymore, mm. yeah. you know. And so I'm I'm happy to see you moving because mm. you 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 do even longer parkour than me, mm. of course, yeah. And so you're an example, yeah. And but you, I you, I made strong choice. I don't know. I can talk for the others, but me I made strong choice. Jump London. The big jump, mm. I could jump. I say, I say, Jerome, I say, Jerome, you know, now I made a point. I do two big jump per year. Mm -hmm. That was jump London. Mm. Jump Britain, completely different. Yeah. I say, I do only jump. <laughs> if it's for camera, give me the mat and everything. Mm -hmm. And I and I use the analogy with a sword. Mm -hmm. Say, so for me, it's like a sword, but you know, it's sharpen, 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 yeah. sharpen a little bit, take care of it, yeah, take care yeah. of it. And if if one day you have to cut, yeah, then it's sharp. It's gonna, it's ready. gonna cut. But I'm not. Yeah. That's, you see, I always go bring my philosophy so you can really understand. Yeah. That's why people say, "Oh, Seb, Jacob is really like sometimes say, Seb, Seb, yeah. could we practice here? Oh, tomorrow are you here?" So, Jacob is for me is still fire. Mm. It's really <laughs> fire. You see, if you understand the concept, mm. you do, it's not about judging people. You just look like. And it's funny, there is an analogy with Star Wars when the the, the Padawan stay in the middle and they're just watching and say they're asking question. Yeah. That's how you know where he is. That's where I am now. So if you come to me when I talk, to, when they talk yeah. to you. I knew where uh, straight away I knew which age you were. If I talk to you, I know, but I'm not saying to you because yeah. you feel like judging. It's not that. It's just like yeah. me, ah. Then I can understand if you can come practice with me. Yeah. And people say, oh, I want to train with you. I'm coming in London. Say, oh my God, this sounds really fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you cannot train with me first yeah. because I can train anyone. Yeah. But I don't think they're ready for what I'm gonna say. Mm. So <laughs> I think they have no idea. Because it's going to be painful. Before yeah. being painful physically, it's going to be painful mentally. Yeah. Because I'm going to ask them, say, I don't want to answer that. You know, say like, yeah, but what is your purpose? What do you want to do? Mm. I don't know. But okay, <laughs> no, and then come back. Once you know, because you, yeah. I'm going to waste my time with you. What, what about um, this, this? For me, Paku was always a little bit about progressing, be stronger, jump further. Mm. Is there, was there a time when you stopped this? Because you're getting older. Say again. You want to... Parkour is what? It's about jumping further, you know, uh, yeah, jumping performing, higher. Performing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and being better. Better, 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 better. You know? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I is can it, answer that. Easy. For me, I'm in this phase maybe, you know, because I know if I, if I train more and blah, 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 I can jump further. Age but of will, fire. But there will come a, a phase where... Okay. Age of fire, you want to test your ability. Mm. Discover something you wanted to know now. Mm. If you're really the one, and how far you can go. Mm. Edge of water. The game is completely different. The yeah. game is. You want. Yeah. It's a question of time. Yeah. It's how long? How mm -hmm. long I'm gonna do it for? Yeah. And how much do you love it? Yeah. Because if there is people, who, I love it so much. I'm gonna do everything. So no, no, me, I love it so much. <laughs> I want to hold it ah. as long as possible. Yeah. And that's my game. That's why it's like, oh, jo no, you know what? I'm not doing anything. Except I'm just saying so beautiful. Save my tendon. Yeah. That's why people say, don't understand my hibernation stuff. People love, they can hear it. They say, I truly believe it. I give me like three months for my tendon and everything. I give you plenty of time to recover. And I walk super slow. He oh, you're doing nothing. I say, yeah, yeah, I'm doing. Because <laughs> I passed this phase where I said, if I, if I stop three months, I'm going to lose everything I knew. Then like, it goes like this. And, oh my God. And people... In, in the fire phase right now, they're killing themselves. Absolutely. Every, they're just it's burning. A it's a story of traditional sport. That's why I yeah. said parkour has become a sport. Yeah. It's a traditional sport, which is 
Wow. Yeah. The king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah, yeah. Which is who is the new superstar? Yeah. Is this guy yeah, yeah. a new name? But this guy, how old is he? He's a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got no experience. Doesn't mean I'm better than him physically, technically. Is a way I saw. Like I watch videos. Say, oh my god, I can't do that. Even mm. if I say, okay, now let's do it. I'm gonna prove them. You will prove nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you're in the face, and also you, you, yeah. you don't like. It's gonna require a lot of work. Wow, Seth, this is so, so good. Wow. So you see, yeah. so for me, this is, this is, this is where they are. So, but yeah. if they use the powerful brain, the computer they have, yeah. and take all the data <laughs> in the age of information yeah. we have, you take any sport, any discipline, boxing, track and field, what you name it, you Everything, take the yeah. best of the best ever. Okay. Where are they right now, physically yeah. mm. and mentally? They rather switch to something. Now it's my business. I sell clothes yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Or I'm a coach, okay. But if you, if you listen carefully, because I I search so hardly about the like the effect and the after, and because there is a protection with medical protection, mm. it makes me. But I find Michael Jordan, for example, back problem, knees problem, yeah. several several uh, surgeries. Surgery. And he's got money, so he's got the best mm. surgeon to do that. All of them, Kobe Bryant, uh, because I'm watching a lot of basketball, so I watch yeah. it. Oh, man, he was flying. Yeah. Michael Jordan was like, for me, he's the hero. He's like a superhero. Yeah. He was literally flying. I wanted to fly like him. Yeah. He would say, "Oh, you look tall like him," but I, I don't care. I think I can. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Because I was young, but now, behind the curtains. Mm. Shh. Okay, this guy. Oh, this guy was great. Well, Ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, he's damaged his brain. Oh, he's got, ah, uh, ouch. Nice. Mohamed Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mohamed Ali, amazing. Yeah. He was almost one of the most elusive, elusive fighter mm -hmm. in boxing. So it, that's mean he was less touched by people. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Even that. Yeah. You see, it was damaged. Then, yeah. then as I said, it's a personal conclusion. Yeah. So like people use their brain, like very powerful. Mm -hmm. It's like we do, like we work on an essay. Mm. Okay, we work all together with yeah, all yeah. the data. Okay, yeah. we got this. So like, and we came to a conclusion. Say, so what, what do we think? Yeah. If we're clever enough, if we don't have ego, we yeah. will say, you know what? I'm changing. I need to mm. change that. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna have after you know, thirty years or so. It's at retirement in sport is. Mm. Yeah, thirty. And that's what I want to 32. say. Maybe and because we only have like five more minutes. Oh man! See, so you can talk for hours. Yeah. Um. You know, like. You're in, in, you use your brain. Yeah. You know, so you, we love parkour so much, we want to do it for, for a long time. Yeah. So we use our brain and parkour is non-competitive. You, you don't... A certain parkour is non-competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's call it our parkour, okay? Your, par our, your parkour. My parkour, <laughs> I don't know what your parkour. Yeah. Sorry. You know, but at the same time, I, we, we haven't talked about this because I'm not doing parkour exclusively yeah and people are burning out in uh, competitive professional sports yeah, when yeah. they were 30 you know okay i just might i go short i go yeah. short maybe maybe answer yeah parkour as it is now there yeah. is two there is two big strain yeah. big way of it yeah. there's a competitive side yeah. okay yeah. the performing showing in instagram, instagram blah, 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 yeah. that's it. and there is the conditioning side yeah. where people practice their condition they don't even know why they condition yeah. it that's it. Yeah. That's the big, big stuff. You can yeah. see like organization. Like, oh, let's do, we're gonna crawl for hours and everything. Mm -hmm. That's the two big things, mm -hmm. okay? And that's it. Yeah. But you know, like I asked you before, like David, he always wanted to make parkour competitive. He yeah. wanted to he wanted to make this uh, parkour de combatant running. Oh, he's got great idea. He's got yeah. a fantastic idea about it. Yeah, yeah, he, he wanted to, yeah. I, I heard it like 12 years ago. I, I, I just heard it. But you know, if if we if if parkour becomes more competitive, mm -hmm. people will burn out faster. You know, yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. like a absolutely. It will be like a typical sport. Oh yeah, yeah. someone is. like you, like in the, in, the, in his forties, in his fifties, they won't be doing. Oh yeah, like yeah. This. because they, no they, one no they, one is doing judo when he's fifty. No one is doing football when he's fifty. You know, they're literally they're literally going there. It's like yeah, yeah, if yeah. you look at it, it's literally the path yeah, they're following. The path, they're yeah. gonna damage, and it's with concrete. It's even like. <laughs> It's the, yeah, the, yeah. the most damaging yeah. practice you can do if you push uh, outside there. Yeah. Like, uh, they work so hard on tennis shoes just to make it less impact. And, you know, <laughs> and this is why, why I feel responsible in a way mm -hmm. to educate people, maybe through this. Like, okay, maybe there's a way 
of parkour. If you don't follow the season, you're 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 done. Yeah. If you don't understand the maturity level, you're done. That's my that's my. If someone come to my class, okay, I, I'm gonna speak yeah. to you. Yeah. This is how it works. Because normally it's in my dojo. If I had a dojo, yeah. it would be in my dojo. Mm. Because people need to understand that. If you mm. understand the phase where you are, mm. that's mean when you're on fire, accept your fire. Don't try to. Oh, I want to be water. No, no, no. Mm. This is your hormonal stuff. You want mm. to be there. You need to find out. Mm. Okay. Hopefully you don't become mature because of injury. Because that's what happened. Mm. People get injured. Oh no, I got it. Yeah, of course. But normally you need to understand the phase, and you need, as I say, you need to understand uh, uh, to follow the season. If you yeah. don't follow the season, every living creature follows the season. Everything follows the season. If you don't follow it, it's a, it's a cycle. Everything is cycle. Yeah, but what? We can use our brain and we can stop cycles. Like parkour has cycles. Why like in winter or why do, why in do you summer? want to stop cycles? Yeah, because it's happening in parkour. They're building inside facilities and training indoors. The same stuff they're doing outside the whole year. So they're doing the same. You know, I always did more conditioning in the winter ah, because it's cold okay. and you know. When I, I say in, in, in summer, it's like. Ah, no, you know? but even you, you can follow cycle indoors and outdoors. It's the way how you do it. Yeah, but they change. Everything's changing, you know. Like all oh, doing the swing, the big precision. It's always big, 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 big. The yeah, no, but that, that's that we're talking about traditional sport. I'm yeah. talking about if you follow the season, if you follow the season, the way of practicing. Mm -hmm. You say, like, let's say, oh, now I've got an injury in my knees. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means you can't do nothing. You mm -hmm. say, yeah, no, I can use my arm. Mm -hmm. Then they adapt yourself. Yeah. So when you follow the season, it's the same. When you get, when you come from, um, awake, awakening spring. Okay, so you just wake up. So everything mm. you do has to be in alignment with awakening. Mm. So it's a bit of jumping, a bit of that, but it's just nice and easy, you know, mm. kind of. Now it's expressing summer, you can go. Because <laughs> your body physiologically, mm. you can feel like yeah. it's like, this is it. You, you can express yourself, you've got less change. Now, smooth autumn, I call it smooth autumn mm -hmm. for one reason. <laughs> Anything smooth mm -hmm. is good for you. Mm -hmm. Balance is good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything we like in parkour. Do it as much as you can. Mm -hmm. You can still do a, a callback of jumping. That mm -hmm. means you don't jump anymore. But this is the main thing. It's like mm -hmm. everything has to be smooth. It's some music. I do a bit of dancing. I do ice skating. That's why I don't do parkour. I do ice skating. You show me anything, but my brain is so well, well finely tuned. So if, if it goes smooth, I mean, yeah. how we do yoga? Oh, pilates. Oh, mm -hmm. anything. You show me uh, if my brain reacts. Oh, that's so smooth. I mean, mm -hmm. okay. And then after you've got a uh, sanctuary winter, mm -hmm. that's where you, can, sanctuary winter, you yeah. can practice your brain and everything. You can do meditation, mm -hmm. you can listen to music, you can, you can rethink about your method and your thing. Doesn't mean you're jump, no, not jumping. Mm -hmm. I'm jumping when I do my class. But you see, so I said he's, he's reluctant to do that. He doesn't want to do that. Jacob's going to come and say, let's do a challenge of this. You see, he can, can seem lazy because mm -hmm. I find a way to make it to not be too rude. So, yeah, but no, I've got to go. But in reality, it's because I follow my season and I mm. try to be, to immerse myself without being too much. Hey, my, my. It's mm -hmm. just like, you don't see it, but more you watch, you say, ah. And then you can go to the chorus. Ah, yeah, it's doing that, that. And then you see, because I, I literally follow the season. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I can't talk for hours about that, so uh, uh, I say I did also... That's why we planned two hours. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Also, I did, I did graduation. You don't know that, but also I, I set up a graduation table mm -hmm. and everything. For me, uh, everything has a meaning because sometimes I, I can have a group. I told you that. You can, uh, maybe I didn't say that. No, I don't know. We can have a group of... That's why I'm going to do a workshop. I'm going to have a big group of people I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, who is beginners here? Mm -hmm. And people are going to be there. You get there. Say, who is... Uh, who is intermediate? Okay. Who is advanced? Mm -hmm. When do you, beginners easy. When you see intermediate, advanced, and confirmed, mm -hmm. then it's a, uh, uh, and then you look your friends. It's, like, it's more like, oh, I'm kind of Alex, I'm the yeah. same as Alex. But <laughs> nobody <laughs> really knows how it works. You go in judo, yeah. who is this? <laughs> it's like crystal clear. Yeah. So I develop a system, I wrote it down, everything. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's very crystal clear. So when you come, I know where, that's why, so in my class, the beginners, they've got green t-shirt. Yeah. Normally the intermediate. Now we don't have intermediate, but they've got yellow t-shirt. Then you've got orange t-shirt and red t-shirt. Why? So, but do, do you think it's good? Oh, yeah, it's good. The only thing why I didn't put it too much, because I'm afraid of people's going to take it, chase it like yeah, a diploma. That's, that's like and, this. And that's why. That's why I'm not doing it. Because I'm not doing it to, to, for people to perform. I do it for, mm. to free people and to get a map. Because mm -hmm. there is no map. So for there the moment... And, and normally you're supposed to have a map, yeah. but 
the human being, based on the society, they're gonna do exactly like they do. Oh, I'm, I'm yellow, you're green, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm better than you. And like, I live faster than you, you know, like. That's exactly yeah. that. And for me, that's, that's, that's where I am now. That's the annoying point. That's why when I had my coach, everything is ready, but I wanted to have a round table to explain that to the coach. And of course, they're gonna come to the same conclusion as me, as you just had. <laughs> you say, okay guys, this is the problem. Doesn't mean yeah. this is wrong. Yeah. You say, what could we do to change it, to make sure yeah. They have the map. Literally, you have a map. You know how you can get to the next level yeah. and what prevents you to get to the next level. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that's why my great, my, that's, my, my scale is yeah. here. The only reason why I'm not advertising, because I know as soon as I put it, I know exactly someone say, oh, me too, I changed the color. I got blue and pink and everything. And they're going to do exactly what everything you say. Oh my God, yeah. that's so stupid. Now they do that. They're chasing the gray just to yeah. do it. And that's not what I want. But the reason for me is always for freedom. Yeah. I know where I am. Even I see, I'm a, hey, you're, you're the, one of the creators, I think, you're supposed to be red, red mm. teacher. No, I'm not. I'm literally between yellow and orange. Mm -hmm. So people say, yeah, but you're the master, you, you because it's Kung Fu stuff, like, you're that. No, 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 I'm telling you. And you can never, you can never go back to green. Mm -hmm. Once you're green, you go to yellow. After yellow, you stay yellow. Even you stop, mm. you're so good at parkour, you just go back, you can never mm. go back to green. But then after, you can wave. Mm -hmm. That's the only place... Like I say, with the season, everything, it just mm -hmm. goes, it just follows. Season is cycle, okay? Maturity level, it just goes until you, you die. And this one for the graduation, mm -hmm. it's literally as much as you practice. And that makes sense when people say, yeah, but I feel I'm better than you. Yes, mm -hmm. because I'm not practicing as much as you. And, I'm, I'm, and my age is different. Yeah. That's why I'm between yellow and, and orange. And I can explain how we get to red. But, but then, you know, this grading it doesn't make sense for me. Because in parkour, you know, like, we ate a different breakfast today. Oui. So we're different. We're, you, you're yeah. older than me and I'm it doesn't change. than you, you know? Sorry to interrupt, Sorry. it doesn't change. Yeah. Because now we're talking about technique and physicality. We're no more, like, we're no more in the field of, of uh, uh, physio philo philosophy, ethos yeah. and everything. I completely agree with you. Yeah. I'm talking about practical level. Yeah. A really practical level. Someone, okay, I can't speak English. I can't say 10 words in English. Mm. I can't say 20 words in English. I'm fluent in English. Mm. You can say whatever you want. Wait, but we're different. Yeah, but it's still, the past is still mm. the path. Okay, you, you can choose to not go to red, mm -hmm. but the past is the past. Now you can see the path. Mm. You choose. That's what I mean. People, because there's so much, like in parkour, it's my thing, they, 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 they're afraid to go someplace because they think it's going to demolish mm. the temple. Mm -hmm. of purity of parkour mm -hmm. that's you see i, I deliberately yeah. put everything that's yeah you see and that's why and i understand because i'm, I'm i was one of the the the, the protector yeah, of yeah, the yeah, temple yeah, 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 yeah. but because of my freedom and the mindset yeah, of yeah, okay. I say, no 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 wait 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 there is a way to do things and yeah. and why are you doing that yeah. why i'm doing the grade yeah. not to show off is to give you the map so you mm. see where you are so if you give you the map you i know you now mm -hmm. a little bit I know you can literally keep it for you, get an idea of, and even like, if you were one of my coach, we can adjust, okay, how about that? Because it's, it's a disc, it's a mutual, that's yeah. why it's not, I come up with the, with the idea, with the, with the view, mm -hmm. but it works even better when we, with other people, and they say, oh no, but they need to understand the same ethos as me. Mm -hmm. They need to come from the same background, yeah. understanding everything we talk about, Red Bull and everything. Otherwise, yeah. we're gonna fall into exactly what we're scared of. Yeah. yeah. Take it, boom, I'm, and even like they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna do exactly like, I say, I'm red t-shirt. Yeah, but prove me no, I'm red t-shirt, I have nothing to prove to you. But I'm not like that. I'm telling you, I'm between, I'm almost in the middle. Mm. Yellow and orange. And I had students I teach, they turn into orange now. Yeah. And I felt like, oh my God, I can still teach you, but, and it's a conflict with technical aspect. Yeah. I'm also phased where I am. So if someone come to my class, is it fire or something? Because when fire and water get together, mm -hmm. as a coach, it doesn't work. Eh? Ouch! You can still know it's, yeah. it's just it's not as smooth. So that's the idea. The time is for I, I need to get my train. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Voilà. Pleasure. Really, thank you. Uh, is there anything else you want to to say? Maybe there's now a little bit of camera. Um, uh, no, for me that's you have the world tour. Maybe you. Want yeah, yeah, yeah. I do the world tour. During the world tour, I will try to explain. I, I know I won't be able to explain everything because people. Uh, but I really try. Also, I'm fighting with personal things. Like, I've been for so many years protector of my own thing. You mm -hmm. know, 
So uh, even the stuff I say, like you see, I work like I've got plenty of stuff mm-hmm. written, but I keep it for me mm-hmm. because I, I don't, I don't get well with all this. What's happening here, like fig, uh, even like you say, like when the parkour is like that, and you must affect this. I was with Parkour UK, and they've got very good yeah. idea, very good uh, 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 objective mm-hmm. for Parkour. But what they do is different from what I do. Okay. Uh, even sometimes they, yeah, but like all these figures. Yeah, I didn't yeah. choose that. So even like the stuff like when they come, like oh, there is no. For example, you talk with Eugene. It's clear there is no difference between parkour and free running. Mm-hmm. And they can even say, oh, Seb, he, he say he, he never say it's different. But I say yeah, but because mm-hmm. I don't care. Because mm-hmm. I don't want to explain to you again. Yeah. Because you need to understand everything. And now you already they already like wrote it, write down so many paper about what parkour is and what is not, they need to adapt, because I did adapt, because mm. I'm, I'm curious. People mm-hmm. don't know why I'm doing, why are you doing that? You're the founder, you shouldn't do that. You don't know where I am. I'm an explorer. Yeah. So in order to talk about something, I need to do it. Yeah. So I did adapt, so I saw, and then I said, oh, write the definition of parkour. So you can see from this, oh, they asked me to write the definition of parkour. And I, went, I see what they're writing, and I can see people like uh, from parkour generation, they literally like this and explain, yeah, parkour is this and that and that. And that. I are, how ironic it is like you started something and you have people talking and they really believe like they know what it is they're protector of it and you just like yeah this is it you should do yeah. it and this is it and you're just like you see the body language and everything and they do great stuff like the, yeah. the community wise yeah. it's huge it's yeah. massive yeah. but for me it's like it's interesting i can understand both points it's like yeah, uh, uh, yeah that's yeah. it that's why for running, I'm not even talking about the definition of running. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, it is what it is, like what yeah, they yeah. want to do. Yeah. Same as parkour. It's freedom, you said, like it's their freedom. It's freedom. But it doesn't stop me to create my own thing. Yeah. So it's my legacy from those who need to understand. So if you ever do parkour, for me, it's like, you better know what I'm going to explain to you. About mm-hmm. when I go about the game, you know, everyone practice the move. Mm-hmm. Everyone do competition, like or like they do comp- competitions getting close to the game, but it's just one aspect of the game. Mm. People need to understand what is the game. People need to understand the, the horse, like I say, what I call the horse mindship, mm-hmm. the relationship between the mind and the horse, the mm. body. If you don't understand that, uh, if you only like, oh, breaking jump, breaking jump, like the, they call it breaking jump. Yeah. So no, there is not only breaking jump, there is also waving it. People don't know that, but I said you can wave your jump. What is it? Like... Uh, breaking jump, okay. You yeah. come to a jump. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. Then yeah. you stay until uh, I yeah. break it. I break it. I yeah. Waving it. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're not forcing it. You come in. Oh, I don't feel it. You can stay and force it, mm-hmm. but you can also go away and keep practice. Yeah. And then you come again. So, oh, I feel it better. No, yeah. yeah. And you come and mm-hmm. you go and you come and you go and one day you just go as as simple as I say. Tiens, hold this. Yeah. You see how we take it? Yeah. It didn't require yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. And I, it's something I test with Jerome and everything. Yeah. And waving it. Some people are very good in breaking. They just they don't even break. They just do it. Yeah. But there is an aspect I'm talking about this. I work a lot on this. Is this idea of there is not only I don't, there is a point where I say no. Breaking is bad. It's only waving. You know, it's <laughs> when it's going. And then I realized, no, there is both. You can do both. Yeah. And waving. Both is good. You know, it's it's good to have tools. Yeah. You know, in some situations, different tool is good. And that's I would say that yeah. maybe the conclusion for everything we say. Yeah. People need to stop being extreme and thinking what their way is the way. Anyone's gonna have the conclusion of their way, mm-hmm. wherever you are, yeah. in the smooth path or hard path. Mm-hmm. The ultimate is the middle one, mm. <coughs> is the balance. Yeah. I don't know if, if it's the middle one, but it's the one, I think, you know, you can have like four or five ways to go. It's no, no, not no, the middle okay. way. No, I, I, I insist, yeah. I insist the best, the best way, the middle one. Yeah. And the middle one is not stick yeah. as the others, it's always in motion. Yeah. If you do balance yeah. in the rating, you yeah. cannot yeah. stay like this. Yeah. That's why, I say, in, in which it's, it's exactly what you said at the same time. Mm-hmm. You never stay right there. You're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're there. You're but you're in the middle. Yeah. If you, that's the hardest stuff yeah. ever in the world to stay, to find harmony, and to be right in the middle. And that's for me the conclusion of everything. Well, I think no fig, fig. Could you just stay in the middle? Mm-hmm. Because some people will make money with it. They will make mm-hmm. politics. Everything yeah. they will do, they will do. Some people will generally do it for good, 
good way of thinking. Mm-hmm. And yet the other hand, people say, no, fake, no, fake, because I wanted to go to the roof and do whatever I want and nobody control me. So people, no, no, because of the freedom and because it's good and what we can share for mm-hmm. the community and everything. So you see, you can see like the, the stream of it. It's yeah. like, where are you in the, on all this scale? Where are yeah. you? And is anyone stopping you to be yeah. you? And then I'm with you. If you say to me, yes, yeah, some people stop mm-hmm. me to be that. I say, okay, now I'm with you now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't like to do battle, but in this, is it, because now I touch our freedom. Mm-hmm. See? I think I understand, yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, I have to sink this. Yeah, let, let, let this <laughs> digest. <laughs> Please swallow it. It let took me, me 20, 20, 20, 20, I don't know, 25 years to get that. Okay. Thank you very much. So you're going to eat now? You're going to eat as well, huh? No. I'm you want the burger? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you like the podcast, please share it. I put a lot of effort and passion into this project and I enjoyed myself talking to so many people. Goodbye.